Got him. Nice one. Righto guys, it is morning time. <coughs> it was it was an awful sleep actually, it was an awful sleep. Uh, because for some reason at 2 a.m. Well, actually I won't tell the story because I wasn't awake, I didn't even wake up, but what happened? <laughs> at 2.30 a.m. there was a, a knocking on the door and somebody else had been given the key to this room also and they had also reached in and undid the chain and walked on in at 2.30 this morning. <laughs> So what help I am? I didn't even wake up. No, I woke up as Nadi was walking back no to bed. You are no longer my bodyguard. Yeah, after you <laughs> telling them to fuck off. But how good's that chain, guys? <laughs> Look at that. You can undo it from the outside. Look at that. Easily, too. <laughs> Fantastic. It has one fucking job. And it fails at doing it. But anyway, <laughs> it's a $130 motel room a night, so it is what it is. But um, yeah, we're going to chase the flatty today. We're going to get the kayak in the water and have a have a bit of a paddle. Righto guys, we're away and we're off. We're kayaking the same creek we kayaked a handful of episodes ago. We're running different lures today though. No plastic, although I have got them on jig heads and ready to go here. We're going to run the... Uh, the one that worked for us so well the other day at Wellington Point with the snaps, the Super Brim, the $5 Kmart lure, it scuffed the shit from all the pike and snaps it dealt with, but it should work for us. Also going to run the crankbait. I've just kiked out into the middle here. I'm going to let the wind take us. We can't fish till we get around that corner because it's too shallow here, but today we're going to kayak up kind of, I don't know how far. I always say that I'm going to kayak further than I actually do, to be honest with you. Um, but they do, there is that lake up there. So I'm thinking there's even a chance that uh, if we're feeling energized enough we could make it to that lake i can't remember the name of it lake weber maybe it is weber creek after all so yeah we might uh, head on up there and see whether we can find some fish up there all right crankbait's down there humming we'll get this diver out too and make it sing one seems to be pretty consistent that it's as you're uh, moving the line up and down just mixing up the retrieve type thing that was in real shallow water too what have we got oh it's a brim it's a brimbo <laughs> absolutely what are you bloody doing mate it's a nice fish now will he sit there for a second while we sort out that other rod let's find out Nice fish. He said yes to it. He was chilling out on the flats there. I don't know if you guys could hear, but as soon as he ate it, as soon as that uh, hook was sunk in him, he was on the surface. So he was in really shallow water. But good stuff. First of the day. Good stuff. See you, mate. In fact, very. I really thought something would happen by now. I really thought we would have a fish by now. A flatty by now. Oh, there's one. There we go. Just as I said, I thought we would have had one by now. We do get one. Oh, he's nice too. That's a nice fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Definitely a flathead, that one. He attacked it. He went a bit crazy. Oh, shit. This one's going to be in the way. Fuck, we'll just have to leave that there and hope these two don't tangle up too badly. That's it. Oh, that feels a good fish, guys. That feels a good fish. This lure hasn't had any problems with dropping fish yet. So he is hoping that it will stay that way because this feels a nice flathead. I think it's a flatty. It's fighting like a flatty. Oh, actually, I don't know. What do we got? I'm not so sure now. Come this way, buddy. Come this way. Don't let this tangle be too bad. What do we got? No, it's not a flatty. Bloody hell! He's not even big! How did he fight so hard? Wow! Inc 
incredible. No flathead, but the brim are out. I am so shocked we haven't picked up a flat dog yet. Very, very surprising. I really thought we would have. By now, huh? But anyway, it's actually too shallow here Ugh. for the kayak to get through. So we're going to have to walk the kayak through up under that bridge. Now, I do want to check Google Maps and see how far exactly we are from that lake that I was talking about. Because uh, we've been going further than I thought. Maybe that actually, that could actually be the start of the lake over there. Fish. On the pink diver. Let's go. We're going to have another mean tangle. He's heavy and shaking his head a bit. But that doesn't mean much yet. <laughs> because it could still well be a brim. We actually just had a bump on the other one too. It's been ages since a fish, guys. It's been ages since a fish. So this is good. It's been a long, hot minute. Come on, be a flatty. Be a flatty. Be a flatty. It's not a massive flatty if it is one. Come on, be a flatty. Be a flatty. Yeah, nice. Good flatty. He's no dog. But he's our target species and he's pretty healthy. And he's pretty healthy indeed. Alright. Oh, he's only just pinned. He might pop off, which is alright at this point. Go on. No. I think he's just going to hold on long enough to get brought in the kayak and then pop off in there. Calm down, mate. You're okay, you're okay. Oh, I don't want to get spined. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, nice. Good fish. First flatty of the day. Oh, back he goes. Beautiful. Um, well, Paul has certainly soaked in the uh, music. How do you get in the mood? Yeah. There's a fish. Hey, baby. I think. Yes. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's on it. He's not big, though. He's not big at all. Baby flathead. Would you look at that? Little fucking flatty. Ain't... Yeah, he caught a few as well. It's been very quiet, but what can you do? So this is Lake Weber. The wind is blowing a little much. I didn't bring an anchor. I don't know how deep it'd be out there actually, but the wind is blowing just a little bit too much for me to be able to just kayak out to the middle and drop a bait. Plus with the... Uh, water quality like this you're probably waiting a while before something sniffs it out and that something's probably a catfish to be perfectly honest Ooh, there's a fish there's a fish nice one nice one nice one good fish oh no has he snagged me under something no way how's he done that unbelievable what is it a snag up under there's a leader get around oh no it's like eating it and got around a stick or something it was definitely a fish there's no doubt about that not the fucking five dollar Kmart lure anything but the five dollar Kmart lure that thing was gold <laughs> Could be down there that he could be snagged on. Nah. It's gripped onto something. Oh no, oh, got him up. We got him up. We got him up. No way. Oh shit, yes boy, that explains it. <laughs> We've probably ripped one of the trebles out, but that explains it. How good, look at that. You little god. Pinky can do no wrong. It's not a fish in the fucking ocean it can't catch, guys. That, uh, that shows how slow we're trolling too. That's crazy because I hooked him and immediately he got into a hole somewhere. So it's pretty wild that they're able to do that so quick. But he absolutely pieced that up. Nice cod on the hard body. Look at those teeth as well. Filthy fucking looking animal. But really, really cool. Man, they're gorgeous. Their colors are just incredible. And the trollers worked. So good stuff. We'll keep at it. No reason to stop just yet. 
So guys, this fucking lure, this super brim that you can pick up from, I can't remember if it was Kmart or Big W at this point, it's one of the two. It's now done flathead, it's done pike, it's done snapper, it's done brim, and it's done cod in two trips. This thing is a bit of a fish slayer. Uh, the action of it is so fucking slow and mundane. Um, like you can hardly even tell how it's moving in the water. I'll try and show here. You see that? It's very, very slow. It's not an exaggerated action like a lot of lures. Certainly nothing like the crankbait. But fuck do these fish love it. I mean, it's no coincidence at this point. It is definitely working better than this crankbait. This is my favorite crankbait too. So, um, yeah, it's just down there fucking picking up fish like nothing else. Straight up paddling over to where we're trying to start fishing from. I'm gonna just let this wind take us and eat some cheese. Fuck, I love cheese. It was the best of times. That's a tale of two cities. Oh, sorry. Uh, war and peace. Um, There's a fish. Had to be. Had to be. Oh no, has he come off? Oh no, Pinky's dropped one. No way. Pinky, that's not like you. Got him. Fish. Crankbait's got one. Over there in the shallows. Interesting. We may end up with a snap with a tangle here. And in fact, it looks pretty good chance for a tangle here. Oh no, that's not good. It is a flatty, I think. Maybe. No, it's not a flatty. It's not a flatty. Oh, that tangle's gonna be fun to deal with. Looking forward to that. Look at you. You got done fooled, mate. You got tricked and fooled. Nice brim. Crankbait is working better for the brim. Must be the vibration. Hopefully there's a couple more fish here for us. Oh, look at him go. Absolutely sailing. Fish. Fish down under the pylons. Nice one too. Oh, nice one too. Nice fish. That could be a flatty. It kind of felt like a flatty. He just smashed it. He's a very, very heavy fish. Oh shit, these tangles, man. These tangles, man. At least we can pull up in those weeds and maybe get them sorted. See what we got here. This feels a good fish. He's under that one, so we'll just keep going like that. What do we got? Nice flatty. No, no monster, but Pinky does the job. Oh, calm down, mate. Calm down, mate. Pinky does the job yet again. Second biggest flatty of the day. Up around those pylons there. He was just sitting there hanging out. So, see you, mate. Good stuff. That makes four flathead, one cod, three brim. No fucking sense at all. Still haven't got that one big flathead though. Couple. Is that straight away again? Look at that. Look at that. I didn't even have a chance to turn it off. Another fish. Old mate, stick around and watch. I'm fucking on again. That's probably worth a troll up through there then, hey. That was a few seconds. And bang, on again. Probably another flatty, I would think. Nah, brim that time. There you go, Pinky will take a brim as well. Pinky will take a brim as well. Hard body for the absolute win today, guys. Oh, I love the old crank, mate, but just not quite working out. Fish. <laughs> Another one. Oh yeah, he's not too bad. It's really picked up recently, guys. Really picked up now that this tide's racing out. There's a few going around. This one's a flatty, I think, a little flatty. Yep. Oh, he's actually, oh, he's all right. He's an all right fish. He's not a little flatty. He just decided to give up. I mean, we've all had the thought to give up at a point. This guy just took that opportunity and decided, you know what? I'm fucking done. Again on Pinky. Pinky is just piecing them up today, and it's not even close. The crankbait, my favorite lure, is being absolutely put to shame. It's out there for hours. Oh, oh crankbait's got a fish. 
Yes, boy, the crank, but no, it's come off. Unbelievable. The crankbait should have had a fish. Doesn't have a fish. It should have, though. I think we're going to have to legally troll back up through there. That spot just seems too good not to have one more fucking dilly-dally up back through there, I reckon. That felt like a snag. Yeah, it's a snag. I really don't want to lose Pinky. But I feel like it might be hard to avoid. Come on now. No way. No. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh, it snapped at the spool. Shit. How? Oh shit, we better get that line. Come here. No. Oh no. Pinky. Ah, oh, Pinky. You will be remembered, Pinkster. Well, guys, as depressed as I am about Pinky, we do have a Zeric uh, Tango Shad Minnow. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's just called the Shad Lure that Zeric do. Um, it's gonna. I don't want to use the word replace because I'm still grieving, but it's gonna. Uh, hmm. I guess try to fulfill a similar role for us here. I mean, it's, it's actually a much higher quality lure than Pinky. This one does float though, so I'm a little worried about the troll with it. Um, and honestly, this one has got a lot, much more of an action too, as you can see, much more exaggerated action. Oh, fish. He ate it and just sat on it. Is he still there? Yeah, he is. He ate it and just sat there on it and kept swimming with the kayak. <laughs> That's so weird. He just was like, all right, you got me. <laughs> I'm gonna just come with you. <laughs> Holy shit. He didn't just eat it though. He didn't just eat it, he crunched it. Again, not the worst flathead of the day. Uh, if that could go over, it's not gonna do it, is it? It is, it's gonna be nice for us. Pinky number two, you have my respect. You now have officially earned my respect. You're a shit of a fucking lure, I'll tell you what. I guess technically you're still my favorite lure that I own because I no longer own Pinky. But once I go fucking Kmart, isn't that good? Favorite lure is one from Kmart. That's how, you, that's how you can tell the pros from the fucking, the kids, you know? Real men use Kmart lures. Real men use Jarvis Walker rods. Real men don't use sinkers. That one's actually true. Real men do not use sinkers. I mean, think about it. A sinker is shaped like a ball. You're basically touching balls. It's a little spicy for me, homie. Sounded a little bit gay to me, homie. You can try and justify it and say, hey, that doesn't make any sense. No, nah, I won't hear it. I won't hear it. You don't have, it's 2022. You don't have to justify being gay. But if you use a sinker, just don't, just don't, don't hide it under like all this, like, dude, it's just, it's literally just a device for me to sink my bait. Like, no, shut up, dude. Shut up. Just come out. It's fine. It's been okay to be out of the closet for fucking, you know, a couple years at least. Grow up. 